Sun News. Welcome back, guys. It's uh, quarter after eight. If you're looking for somewhere to get away, as many of us often are, maybe your New Year's resolu resolution is to travel more, uh, warm up for the winter. The folks at 5280 Magazine, they've got some suggestions for you this morning, which is interesting because you all focus on Denver uh, mostly. Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting to see an article really focusing on kind of places to get away. Uh, we're talking about from uh, Mazatlan to the mountains right here in our own backyard. That's the thing. There are locations close, locations Far. We've got Spencer Campbell here, an editor at 5280. Good to have you. Yeah, thanks so much for having As me. As always, and I mean, talking about traveling, what a great topic to talk about. Let's start uh, with the, 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 the faraway destinations. Sure. Uh, why did you pick these ones? Well, what the great thing about all these airlines offering new flights right. now is that everything is so connected. So things that you don't even realize. I mean, when I was digging out my driveway the other day, I was thinking, where can I get somewhere warm? And you wouldn't think Mexico, but Sun Country Airlines has just started a seasonal flight that takes you there in two and a half hours. Wow. And once you get there, it's sort of, Mazatlan is very much forgotten about as far as, you know, you got Cozumel, these other places. Yeah. Um, but they just poured $400 million into redoing this place. It looks like a, a 1920s European village. They've, you can stay at the place where Ernest Hemingway oh, and cool. you, used to eat his steak. I'm sure it was very raw. Uh, but a lot it, of history there. Absolutely. Yeah, that's really cool. And, and I mean, I don't think people realize how lucky we are to have an airport like Denver International For that sure. really does have a lot of these uh, these direct flights. Right. And I mean, I know uh, Frontier, you know, may get some some uh, complaints for some being flack. bare bones. Right. You know, somebody wants their seat to recline. <laughs> but uh, how dare they want that? <laughs> but they, they really do. Having them as our home base here, they've yeah. just opened up a whole new avenue of places that you don't really think about traveling, which makes it great for weekend destinations, places like Albuquerque. Right. I mean, of course, it gets that uh, that uh, Breaking Bad <laughs> reputation, but they've done such great things there. It has the beautiful mountains. They've yeah. just opened up this hotel called Hotel Chaco. Um, it it incorporates um, design elements from the ancestral Pueblians to, to just make it a really beautiful place to visit. Yeah, the desert, the great American West, if you will, and much different than Denver. I mean, you feel like you're getting away because it's such a different uh, climate, different atmosphere. It's really cool. And some other local kind of closer destinations right here in Colorado as well, part of this article. Sure. I mean, Fort Collins, I think, always kind of gets lost in the yeah. mix. Um, but they have some really, really great new um, hotels, some restaurants. Um, even a development up there called the Exchange, which is going to be a lot like Avanti here, sure. where they've got different uh, places. Even Little Man's going to be opening up a new uh, snack place up there. Oh, nice. Okay. So, that, and that's more of like a staycation. I mean, if I live in the suburbs of Denver and want to just stay in Denver, are there some good spots here in Denver? Absolutely. I mean, um, even uh, Lions is is very close by. It. I mean, it's like 45 minutes away, yeah. and they have this great village there called Wee Casa. And it's oh, nice. all these micro cabins. They look so cool. And it's right on the St. Vrain, so you can float, you can um, fish, you can go to the Burning Can Festival nice. that they've got there. It's really a great place if you don't want to go too far. Awesome. Very cool. Well, uh, of course, a whole lot more in the, the article that you wrote here for 5280 Magazine. This is the cover. You know 5280, guys. It's at the checkout when you go to the grocery store. And always really cool things, Denver-focused. And, and in this issue. It's, it's focused on maybe getting away from Denver for a little weekend, which isn't always the worst thing in the world to take a break. Thank you so much, Spencer. Thanks for having Pleasure me. Pleasure to see you, my friend, sure. and uh, appreciate the tips. Let's get over to Greg. See, Greg, you're pre-kid. I, I call am. It PK Barely. or an AK. I'm after kid. I can't go anywhere, but you're pre <laughs>